Go Belfast. Um, this is all me. I haven't had any plastic surgery done, in case you're, you're wondering at that. And I, I've no ambition to have any plastic surgery done. The operation I'd like to have done is actually a medical operation, not plastic, real. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know what it is? You know, have you ever seen this operation? If you lose a hand, like in a lathe or in a farm, and a boy gets knocked down and dies, they can cut his hand off and sew it on yours. And it works. And that's great. That's the coolest operation in the world. I'd love to have that done. Just think about it. Then you could go anywhere in the world confusing palm readers. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing people got, got excited about here this year was beating England at football. Yeah. That was the only cheer. Yeah. That was the only cheer. Happens every 78 years, <laughs> whether you need it or not. So if there's any English supporters, I may never get the chance to say this again in my life. Any English supporters in tonight, or anyone watching at home, who's your daddy? <laughs> who's your daddy? <laughs> Do you imagine it could have been a lot worse for them if we'd have had a full squad of players there? <laughs> Not that we were hit by injuries, it's just the post office wouldn't give everybody the time off to go and train. <laughs> At least we won something, not like at the Olympics. Ireland at the Olympics won gold medal. What was it for? Shoe jumping. <laughs> and the horse got done for taking drugs. <laughs> the dressage was a clue. All the other horses. <laughs> the Irish aren't right. <clears throat> <laughs> Feel the madness. <clears throat> And no one, no one from Northern Ireland, either rep representing GB or representing Ireland, got a medal of any description. Gold, silver, bronze, not one. Not one. Not even for shooting. <laughs> no, because you'd have thought three years ago at the Commonwealth Games, we did get a gold medal for shooting. Do you know what the boy said when he won it? Maybe this will encourage people back home to take up shooting. <laughs> Hopefully not. But the thing I liked about the Commonwealth Games in Manchester then, if you remember, for the first time ever, the Paralympic events were held center stage, same time as the ordinary events. That's the boys in the wheelchairs got the opportunity to be there with the cameras on them, got the same exposure, and I thought that was right. Because those guys, to me, they put more effort in than ordinary athletes. They've got to train as hard, they don't get money, they don't get sponsorship, and they just do it, not for fame and fortune, but because it makes them feel good, sense of achievement, it keeps them fit, which is what sport's meant to be. Full stop, right? However, <laughs> however, when you're from Belfast, you can't help but watch the Paralympic offense without thinking to yourself, really? Really? <laughs> With the amount of boys we have on the invalidity here, We should have had a big team there. <laughs> we should be like the Cubans at the boxing of that one, shouldn't we? Us against the rest of the world. All the other teams way up in their team coaches. Our wee team just bounces out of its own DLA cars. <laughs> Shell suits on, trainers, baseball caps ready to go. Discus. Gold medal. Javelin. Gold medal. Hammer. <laughs> Gold medal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> That's all for me tonight. Uh, thank you, Belfast. You've been fantastic. <laughs> Good night. God bless you.